In today's connected world, information is accessible from almost everywhere. Having information at our fingertips helps us make better choices, from important business decisions to finding a good place to eat. But as we travel between hospitals, physician offices, and other healthcare providers, the transfer of information often does not keep pace. Sometimes, critical data about our medical problems, prescription medications, allergies, and the results of previous tests is missing, remaining buried in stacks of paper somewhere else. I think patients currently expect us to have much more information than we currently do. And sometimes I think patients are frustrated and upset, and I don't blame them for being upset that I don't have that ER note, or the consultant note from two weeks ago, or the lab or the CT report that they had done within the last couple of weeks. I oftentimes don't have those reports. I had my own uh, family member who was in a different part of the state who um, unfortunately was in that very situation where he was he had to go from healthcare entity to healthcare entity and the flow of information wasn't following him to the to his own personal detriment even to the point that when when we finally got a got a physician who's able to piece it all together his response is you know I'm 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 sorry for the disjointed healthcare system we have how are you good how are you this information barrier is beginning to crumble as more physician offices switch from paper medical records to electronic health records systems. Electronic records provide faster access to information and help track changes in patients' health. Having more information at their fingertips enables clinicians to make better treatment decisions and improve patient care. Everything is in one place. Once you've entered the problem list, the medication list, it's all here. You can do everything sort of from one screen a lot of times. We have an entire record available to us at a moment's notice. Um, for example, if I'm at a remote site and I answer a call from a patient, I can immediately access an entire record for us as, as long as 20 years ago because we have all of our old records scanned in and really find out exactly what that you know, particular woman is looking for, what prescription she's on, her whole list of medical history. Hi, Bonnie. Hi, Dr. Sachin. Here for your follow-up? Yes, I am. Okay. I think we're following up your blood pressure today? Mm -hmm. We are. Okay. So how have you been doing since last time? Well, I was thinking it might be a little elevated. I've been getting more headaches. Okay. Vermont Information Technology Leaders, a nonprofit public-private partnership, is assisting Vermont physician offices in making the transition to electronic health record systems. Funded by the state and federal governments, VITAL helps physicians acquire information technology systems and change their workflow to provide more efficient and effective care with this powerful clinical tool. VITAL staff also has the expertise to help healthcare professionals achieve meaningful use of their electronic health record systems, thus qualifying for federal incentive payments. Once physicians have computerized their medical records, VITAL connects them to other healthcare providers in their community and around the state. Over this secure network, called the Health Information Exchange, electronic health record systems in hospitals, physician offices, nursing homes, and other healthcare facilities can talk to each other and exchange data. How long have you been sick? Um, for about a week now. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Physicians are now using computer systems to assist them in prescribing medications. These e-prescribing systems warn the physician if a drug the patient is taking could cause an interaction with a new medication. Physicians are also alerted to any allergies that the patient has. So I noticed from the electronic record that you had a reaction to penicillin, a rash, back in 2005. Does that sound right? Yeah. Yep. Okay. So what I'm going to do is uh, send in an electronic prescription for some azithromycin. And then what will happen is that it goes directly from our computer through the wireless network and into the pharmacy computer directly. Wow. First of all, they don't have to keep track of the paper prescription anymore that doesn't get lost. There's also uh, an increased accuracy if the prescription goes electronically directly into the pharmacist computer system. We don't worry about the inevitable human errors of entering that information two or three times into a system. I think patients will have a lot more confidence in our prescribing when they know we're electronically connected to the world. 
that we can, with that computer, know that a drug doesn't interact or that they don't have side effects or what the side effects are. I think without a doubt, when patients hear that we've made the transition into an electronic record, patients immediately are, are happy to hear this and have the idea that their records are going to be more carefully taken care of and that we're going to be up to date on all of their lab results and things like this in a much more uh, speedy fashion. We would not go back to paper. This is, you know, it takes some learning, but it seems to me like all the effort that's put in up front is so well worth it and then we would not ever go back to paper. From Brattleboro to Richford, from St. Johnsbury to Bennington, Vital is working with healthcare providers around Vermont to implement electronic health record systems and connect them to the health information exchange so that all Vermonters can benefit from this technology.